Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Print It. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to update this member screen that I demonstrated in the last video using HTML instead of JSON objects. So first, to make it clear what's going on, I'm going to open up the network tab here and I'm going to do a request. So I won't actually change anything, but I'll do the request and I'll take a look at the response. And we see the response is a JSON file with a member number and a result. Um, and that member number is the one that is used to update the value here. So instead of using the JSON object, I want to change it to where I get HTML as a response from the server. And then I'll use jQuery to update the HTML of the page. So it's an alternative method of updating a page without having to refresh. So to change this is actually pretty simple. Uh, the first thing I need to do, though, is I need to create an, a template to send back to the client whenever they click update. So I'm going to create a new file here and I'm going to call it uh, something simple like section. And in this section, I'm going to take the important part from the HTML I have here and put it in the section. So it's kind of independent. So let's see, I want to do everything in between this div here. So I'm going to start here and copy. So this is the member section with the member ID. Everything inside of it I'm going to copy to the section because I'm going to use this as the piece of HTML that's going to be refreshed by jQuery. So I'll save that and in my update route here um, I'll get rid of the JSONify return and instead I'll return render template section HTML. So it doesn't really matter which framework you're using to do this. I'm using Flask, but every framework will have a similar feature. Um, but in Flask to do this, you use render template and then I need to pass in some values. So it's similar to how I pass in all the members up here in the route, the index route. Um, down here, I just need to pass in the single instance of a member. So I'll do member equals member. And if I look at the section, I see I have these member values and then I'm going to get the specific values by using um, the dictionary functionality. So ID, name, and random here. So now I'll save that and I'll run another request and let's see what happens. I'll update this one and it doesn't quite work. And if we look it's because HTML is now being returned to the response. So this first request I did, it's a JSON object. And the second is HTML. So because it's HTML, um, jQuery doesn't know how to update it because I haven't actually written anything to use HTML yet. So it's still trying to get the value out of the JSON object. But since this isn't a JSON object, it doesn't work. So to update this, I'll go to my app.js. And we see how I'm using dot text to update the member number. And I'm taking the data and taking the member number from that data. Well, instead of using that, I'll comment that out. Um, because HTML is expected to be returned, um, this data will be HTML instead of a JSON object. So jQuery is smart. It knows when it's getting an HTML um, snippet and when you're getting a JSON object. So to change this, it's pretty simple. I'm going to do the same thing, member section plus member ID. So that gives me this here. So this div here, what I want to do is I want to change everything inside of it, which is this section here. So what I'll do is I'll do dot HTML and I'll pass in data. So what this is going to do is it's going to overwrite all the HTML in between whatever is selected here. So in between the div here, and then it's going to override it with the snippet that's returned, which is pretty much this with the values filled in. So I'll save that and I'll refresh the page. Hard refresh so the JavaScript gets updated. And then I'll select one of these again. I'll do the request. And we see how the member number changed to 4414. So I'll hit it again. Actually, you know, that's an issue. So. Uh, I'll hit this again and I'll have 5768. So uh, we see HTML is returned and it updates, but I can't use the button anymore. So that's an issue and 
that would be the last thing I cover. So whenever you do something like this where you update HTML, one of the things I'm updating is the update button. So basically I'm taking the HTML that was originally there, I'm removing it, and I'm inserting new HTML. But the problem is I initialized the click event on the update button before I refresh the HTML. So the old HTML has a click event on it and the new HTML that I'm injecting in there won't. So I can only hit the button once. So one way to get around that is by changing up the selector here. Uh, instead of using update button here, you use document. So the selector is now selecting everything on the document and it's going to look for a specific class. So this class is going to be update button. So the reason why this is different is because it's always looking for updates to the document instead of doing it once at the beginning of the page load. So when I do it this way, every time I refresh the HTML, the update button will then get the new click event. So I'll save this and I'll refresh the page again. And then I'll update, let's say, Zach. So it's 1512 and if I hit update again, it works now. So I can hit update as many times as I want and it's going to refresh and update the HTML. And if we look over here, we see HTML here. So it's pretty simple to use. A jQuery has other methods you can use to modify HTML. One is replace with. So if you use replace with, instead of getting the, um, the stuff in between the member section, you will get everything including the div with the intersection. So you do have to include that div in this uh, section here. But uh, HTML is fine for our case because it's replacing everything in between the tags that you select. So as you see, uh, HTML updates are just as easy as JSON object updates. So that is one way or another way to have refreshes on your page or updates to sections of your page without having to refresh the entire page. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions on how to do this in jQuery, how to use JSON objects or HTML to refresh pieces of the page, uh, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.